how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2024 and another part of the Everton project. Today we have the Merseyside derby away from home at Anfield before taking on Tottenham in New Year's Day 2025. And uh, well, hopefully you guys are good and are enjoying the series so far. Uh, we'll be thinking a little bit about the January transfer window, but mainly just trying to rectify what's been going on recently because we're having a little bit of a wobble in uh, the league. Since you were last with me, which was at 6-3 victory over Brighton, uh, we lost 2-1 to West Ham in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. A uh, bit of a shame there. And then we lost 1-0 to Nottingham Forest in the league. We did recover, though, to beat Southampton 6-2. We were 2-0 down at half-time, but an anti-martial hat-trick, James Tarkovsky uh, brace and a Ruben Sanchez screamer towards the end did lead us to a 6-2 victory in the end and uh, you know we were very very lucky to uh, to 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 manage that um because as i say it was uh starting to look like a big a big struggle um and we, we are starting to concede a lot obviously we have been playing jordan pickford in goal recently maybe that's uh, something that uh, it needs to change and uh, I think I will go for Meslier today uh, now I've thought about that so we have dropped a third in the Premier League table but if we were to win today against Liverpool then we'd probably go back up uh, at least to second uh, in the division we're still two points clear of Manchester United in fifth place and we're still well clear of Tottenham um, and Leicester City who are uh, the chasing pack and certainly a long way clear of Chelsea in, in eighth position and you know we, uh, we've, we've got to put things into perspective we're not we weren't expecting to be title contenders we just went unbeaten for so long and i said you know it's all going to come crashing down to earth the the most important thing now is to try and get things back on track um and be back within uh our, our usual form very very soon so first thing we're going to do is bring uh, meslier into it but this is the team that we are uh putting out there to take on liverpool today we've got meslier in goal with patterson maguire tarkovsky and michaelenko in defense we've then got garner hold in the midfield end on belly and smithrow in the middle of the park with bargy and zaragoza uh starting wide of anthony martial up tops we we do have quite a few suspensions john mcginn and Branthwaite are suspended. Uh, Pablo Maya and Tyrone Mings are both injured for a little while. Uh, Gulkerson uh, has just come back, uh, so we, we might see him today, but he is only able to uh, do uh, a, about half a football match according to his fitness test. So we'll get into it. Hopefully we will be able to uh, at least put on a, a decent performance against uh, Liverpool today. Again, it's it's about trying to take the pressure off them. You know, um, we're expected to lose. We're absolutely expected to lose today. Away at Anfield, incredibly difficult uh, place to go to. And, you know, with the occasion, we've lost three of our last five, which we've not been in that that situation at all uh throughout the whole of this uh season so you know we've got to go out there we've got to be positive we've got to try and play our way but that's going to be difficult against a liverpool side who will be looking to get their revenge for uh quite a, a dismantling in the last merseyside derby um in the league and there's salah straight away within three and a half minutes and Liverpool are ahead and now it's going to be an incredibly difficult atmosphere to work in yeah that's that, that's always going to be the problem there isn't it you know uh, when we play Michael Lenko at left back that's the sort of thing that that happens unfortunately um, because he's not an inverted fullback and and maybe that's that's another thing we need to look at is is do we get a, a backup inverted fullback in uh we do have that in tyrone mings but unfortunately he is injured at the moment but we have to put everything into perspective we're still in fifth place and that's the that's a really tricky thing when you've got off to a good start it's so difficult not a dream and think wow how amazing would it be if we won the premier league this season and you know we've had quite a tough run of, of uh, matches as well um we have to remember that we've got tottenham coming up at home that's a big game you know if tottenham come and beat us at goodison 
then I think we're, we're starting to really notice some cracks. But here's uh, Endon Belly on the ball. What can he do? Speaking of Tottenham, uh, here he goes, whips it into the middle, but uh, couldn't find anybody of interest. But Nathan Patterson has a little go at it, and uh, that's why. But all of a sudden, we're starting to look a little bit like we've got some life in us, which is is much better from my point of view. And we are uh, dominating possession at the very least ahead of uh, Liverpool at the moment. So heading up to half time, three minutes added on. It would be lovely if we could grab an equaliser just before half time here. He has Diogo Yota now on the ball. What can he do with it? Um, oh dear, me, it's Alexander Arnold almost found. Um, found his way through and Diogo Yotta hits the post that was so close to Liverpool taking the lead there but they didn't uh, or taking the bigger lead I should say hands on hips what do we say um, yeah let's go for the underdogs talk and so let's go and get a draw out of this match. That would be nice. Uh, Beto's going to come on for Martial, who's not having the greatest games. Uh, Rooney's not playing too well either. So we're going to put Zaragoza on the right-hand side. Uh, we're also going to um, bring on uh, Gillix, uh, Gullickson for his return. And that should hopefully work out quite nicely. That looks good. To me, okay, into the second half we go. And, you know, some of the match momentum has gone our way. You know, we're not being absolutely dominated by Liverpool here. And here's Michael Engel with a corner. Beto with the header, and it's a great save by Alisson in goal there. <laughs> Liverpool needed that. That was a good header from Beto, who's only just come onto the pitch, of course. But that's a, a positive start to the second half. Can we continue to press on? And here's a Liverpool corner now. It's Andy Robertson. That's going to whip it in. Does whip it in. Mesley was there, but missed it. And that well, was headed over the bar, thankfully. But we've got a highlight straight from the goal kick. Gets it to Harry Maguire. That one. Oh, no. So many of you have been dying to see that from Harry Maguire. I feel so sorry for him because that's a really sick one to uh, have to take. And that's all but secured the victory for Liverpool now. 2-0 feels like we can't get back into it. You know, 1-0, we could get one fluky goal. We could even go on and... and, and um, win the game but uh, now 2-0 feels completely different match in Liverpool actually a run at running rings around us here and Michael Engel well he's all over the place I, th I think he's going to be leaving in January oh my goodness me that was a great chance <laughs> to witness something special but yeah, we're going to go attacking now for the last 25 minutes, we do have a corner. Come on, Michael Enko, prove me wrong. Get a nice ball in. He does get a nice ball in. It's headed away. But there's Smith Rowe and into Ghana. Oh, you just feel it's not going to be our day. That was that was a real clear-cut chance there, but not, not to be. Uh, we've got 17 minutes left. We're going to bring Harvey Barnes on now. We're going to move Smithrow out into the right-hand side. Uh, Endon Belly is going to come off, and we're going to put Ducore on for him. Um, Michaelenko is going to come off. I'm going to put Stanisic there on the left-hand side. and Yeah, and that might be Michaelenko's last game in an Everton shirt. He wants to leave in January anyway. Um but it has been a a tough old match. A, you know, a, a match we were expecting to lose, in all honesty. Robertson whips it in. I think 3-0 would be taking the mick a little bit, but uh, hopefully we can get back into it here because now we're on the counter-attack. And look at this, Ducore using those old legs nicely. Here's Beto on the right-hand side. Finds Ducore, who does score. Um, but that is going to be offside because the assistant has flagged. Nine times out of ten, that means the goal will be disallowed, and it was, in fact. And what a shame for Abdullahi 
Ducore, who uh, this is going to be officially his last uh, match for Everton. It would have been nice for him to sign off with a goal against Liverpool, but it is what it is. It was a very... Um, a very tough match for us. We've come out 2-0. We've certainly not disgraced ourselves, but uh, yeah, it was a, a disappointing result. Um, and we know that. And that moves us down to fourth in the league now. Four points behind Manchester City. Four points, more importantly, behind Liverpool. We would like to, to catch them up as the season goes on. But we're still two points clear of Manchester United in fifth place. They lost to City today. Uh, and we're still 13 points clear of Aston Villa. So we're looking good for European football at present but uh let's see how we get on against tottenham well have a look at this uh, dominic calvert lewin on five hundred and fifty thousand pounds per week in saudi arabia um i mean pff, goodness me uh anana he's gone for 32 million pounds ducore has gone for eight and a half that means we've got a uh oh should have had a nice transfer budget i don't why is the transfer budget not come back Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no, all this money that I was expecting to spend has gone. Squad are unhappy with the uh, sale of Dominic Calvert Lewin. Right, let's have a little chat then. Um, oh, we're all owed an explanation. Uh, he had made it very clear he wanted to leave. I couldn't stand in his way, and I'm not sure. Uh, Okay, let's go with that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I think that was very productive. <laughs> okay, a couple of them aren't happy, but most of them are. Um, I, I'm just going to continue on one day. Why, why is our transfer budget not updated? That is really bizarre. Right, we're going to have to request... Oh, God, we can't even do that. Mm, we, we could be in a bit of trouble here, folks, because I was fully expecting to be able to bring in three or four signings in January, and now we are in uh, real, real issues. Um, I mean, yeah, 100% uh, you are paying their uh, his wages. Let's go for eighty percent wages. Uh, okay, let's try fifty. Oh my God, what they're doing? They're they're just giving us more and more money. Um, let's try twenty percent just to get him off the wage bill. All right, fine. Um, that looks like a decent deal for Ben Godfrey. To be fair, so that was uh, from Watford. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm in complete and utter disbelief about this financial situation. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have a real problem for the rest of the season after selling those three players and not getting any money for them um, into the club. I am... Uh, flabbergasted is is one word for it. Um, we've had to rotate the squad quite a lot for this Tottenham match because of uh, the intensity of that Liverpool game. That includes playing Gullickson when he's a bit short of match fitness, but that's just where we're at, I'm afraid. Um, we do not have many players in reserve. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm raging, actually, that that money hasn't come through because we certainly didn't have access to it in December so um, yeah no, I, that's the same I'm just baffled but um, it is what it is we've just got to we've just got to push on with it now so uh, Mesley I'll start in goal Sanchez Maguire Branthwaite and Stanisic will start in defence with Endombele McGinn and Gulkerson Gullickson um, in the middle of the park uh, Rooney Bargy and Harvey Barnes will start behind Beto up top and i'll tell you what beto has uh dropped off in form a little bit i'm hoping that this is me jinxing at that point and hopefully um he will score a few today against tottenham i mean surely they are going to be a mess as well in terms of their fitness levels and 
Well, they're not really other than, than Son and maybe Richarlison as well. So, yeah, we're, um, we're just in that spell of the season. Obviously, last year we didn't win any of the matches in January because of our squad depth and uh, we're just we're just having a little struggle with that at the moment maybe we need to look into the loans and uh, maybe get some youngsters in on loan uh, we're gonna have to be very shrewd and there's Beto there you go that is why we say he's not been doing very well recently because then he steps up and does that terrific from Beto it was a lovely ball through as well uh, from John McGinn, who is loving a through ball at the moment, isn't he? And John, uh, and uh, Beto duly obliges, uh, puts it into the back of the net, and it is 1-0 panic over. We're all good here. We've got about 17 fantastic players at this football club who can change matches. As long as they don't get injured, we're going to be fine. Definitely. You, you can tell how confident I am about that. But anyway, 25 minutes in, we're controlling the game against Tottenham. Obviously, we beat them uh, in their stomping ground earlier this season. That's a good uh, free kick forward. It's uh, John McGinn now with it, and he gets it to uh, Gullickson. Gullickson still going, gets it into the middle, and Barnes was waiting at the far post, and he puts us 2-0 up. Lovely to see Harvey Barnes get on the score sheet. He's come under a bit of criticism uh, from the media and the fans for you know, not being uh, set in the world alight this season. But uh, he's, he's been doing all right recently and, and good to get a goal, a deserved goal, I think, um, from recent play. So well played to Harvey Barnes. Um, Stanisic has taken a knock, so we're going to have to put on Michaelenko, but we are going to change him to an inverted fullback on defend because it doesn't seem to work when we have a, a wing back in that position. Okay, here's uh, Gullickson, gets it into the middle, it is a penal, Jeff, I think it is a penal, Jeff, I think there was a handball there from Richarlison, uh, Endombele is very, very happy about that, and it is a penal awarded, and it's going to be Beto that steps up, I bet, yep. Uh, Endombele would have been screaming asking to, to step up but Beto is the one that does it second goal of the game for him it's now Everton 3, Tottenham Hotspur 0 and this this is exactly what we needed after that Liverpool um, defeat, obviously a difficult one, to come back New Year's Day and be able to do this is fantastic and you know Tottenham are, uh, are not at their best um, we're not at our best, really. You know, we, we've we've taken our chances, but you know, Tottenham are um, are not really challenging us at the moment. But it gets us back into into things and uh, gets us back into winning games against big teams, and that's where I think our big fears have been recently is uh, against the bigger boys. And anyway, here's Bentoncourt just wide. So 62 minutes gone. I think we should look at doing some substitutions. Uh, Gullickson is going to come off. Uh, we're going to put David Martinez on. We're going to move Harvey Barnes into the middle of the park. David Martinez will be on that left-hand side. I think Barnes can play there. Um, what else can we do? I'm thinking uh, Leonardo up top. There's a bit of a change. Yeah, the rest, I mean, Martial. Surely we could think of something tactically that we could we could do here. I mean, we could play a very odd formation here. Um, we could do something like that. I have no idea if this... Is something that that would ever work? But you know what? We're going to try it. We're three 0 up. We've got half an hour to go. Let's see. Let's see if playing with three people on the uh, left and three people on the right works. Here's Rooney. Oh well, it was a good shot. And I tell you what, it was working there. <laughs> it was working there. Anyway, 
Here's uh, Ruben Sanchez with the corner kick, whips it in, header from Maguire just wide. We would have liked a fourth to just absolutely wrap this up. But I am in incredibly intrigued to see what happens here. Here's Rooney. He's lost it. Um, and if Tottenham go down the middle, I mean, there'll be no players there. Although they've, they've gone to the left and there's no players there. Where are all our players gone? McGinn tries to tackle. Here's Johnson, whips it in, and it is a goal for uh, Pierre-Emile Hoiberg. And FM just seems to punish you. When you try something weird, like what we're trying right now, they just go, right, there's Tottenham's goal. Start behaving, Joe. But I'm just so intrigued. Is that Fraser Forster playing for Tottenham? Because that's a very odd um, player to be playing in goal for them. Here's Johnson. This could be another chance. Ooh. Well, apparently it wasn't offside. Right, we're going to have to be sensible now. Uh, yeah, just going to have to move these back a little bit and play it quite defensive for 15 minutes. We're, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble because of stupid tactical decisions 3-0 up. I didn't believe that Tottenham could get back into it, but alas, they have done. I was just trying to think of how do we play fit players and uh, it's it's going to cost us here because, oh, McGinn, I think he's OK. I don't think he's good. I thought that might be a red card. Uh, here's Rooney into the middle. Header from Branthwaite. Excellent save from Fraser Forster. Yeah, I mean, we kind of need that fourth goal just to give us a little bit of breathing room. Just feeling nervous again. Rooney into the middle. Headed away. Benton core now. Oh, excellent tackle. It's Rooney. No. Oh, no. Benton core with the free kick. What a save from Meslier. But that was almost three all there. What on earth have we done? And that is away at skip. Oh, my God. Tottenham are going to score, aren't they? And FM being FM, they're going to really punish us by giving Tottenham a 95th minute goal here. I mean, thankfully not, but that's... Oh my God, that's a sickener. We're training tomorrow. Uh, Mesley is not happy. I really couldn't care less about that. Um, he's injured for four days, but that's was a collapse of a mighty, mighty scale. And it's just a dampener because we, we played so well in that first half. But um, we're just conceding goals left, right and centre here. And I'm not really sure where this has come from. It started in that Man United match, our first defeat of the season. We'd had such a solid defence up to that point. Um, the only game we'd conceded more than one goal in was the Carabao Cup match against Liverpool. And then since then, we've only conceded only one in one match. We haven't kept a clean sheet since. We're just all over the place at the moment. We've got Arsenal coming up um, in the FA Cup. That's going to be tricky. Uh, I don't see any point in really showing you any January matches. I think we'll be back for Leicester and Chelsea next time out. Uh, and I'll update you on anything that's happened in January. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.